Rishi Sunak is meeting with King Charles right now to be formally appointed Again? as Britain's next prime Isn't minister. Isn't that what he said to Liz Truss? After that, oh Sunak will be making remarks outside of Downing Street. Let's see how this one goes. Okay. Let's bring in Sky News anchor and NBC News contributor Wilfred Frost, who is at the British Parliament. Safely on the ground. Hi, Wilfred. Wilfred, we've done this before. A lot recently. Talk <laughs> about today. We well, we've done this, I know, all too recently, and we hope this goes for longer than six weeks uh, <laughs> this time. And uh, the, the main challenge, the immediate challenge for Rishi Sunak is to deliver political stability within his party, because without that, he won't be afforded the time in office uh, to do anything at all. And I think with that in mind, the biggest focus today is this afternoon when he starts to appoint his cabinet. And uh, we expect him to learn from the mistake Liz Truss made, which was just to appoint her closest allies in cabinet. So when things started to go wrong, suddenly the rest of the party didn't stick, uh, stick by her side. He's expected to appoint a broad church cabinet from all all sides of the party. We don't quite expect Boris Johnson to be there himself, but his close allies likely to get decent jobs. The speech he's due to make in Downing Street as soon as he gets back from uh, Buckingham Palace provides us a slightly different opportunity for him. Sunak's always been seen as someone who's competent but perhaps not relatable and uh, this speech will give him a, a big audience but perhaps more importantly a forgiving audience and, and a chance to connect with the nation properly uh, for, for maybe the first time and, and after today uh, they won't be forgiving it'll be divisive again he'll have to answer for the economic travails the country faces and uh, the speech today gives him that that one-off window perhaps uh, to try and connect whilst people are, are willing to allow him to do so. Wilfred, tell us a little bit for American audiences uh, who don't know who Rishi Sunak is and what his background is. Uh, we were just watching him there. Tell us a little bit about them, him. He, he strikes a whole range of firsts in British politics, uh, but, but give us more of a sense of who he is, where he comes from, um, and, and how he might be suited for this job at this moment. Absolutely. So he's the youngest uh, prime minister for about 200 years, age 42, uh, the first British Asian prime minister, the first uh, prime minister uh, of colour. All factors, of course, that, that uh, are reason for great celebration. Um, interestingly, he only became an MP in 2015, and then he occupied the second biggest office of state, Chancellor of the Exchequer, by 2020, a stratospheric rise. Uh, and it's fair to say that he was kind of adored uh, initially as Chancellor of the Exchequer, as he outlined various support packages during the pandemic and then oddly for someone who rose so quickly he kind of faced scrutiny after his rise as opposed to before it and in the last year or so some of the issues he's faced uh, have been the issue that he's incredibly wealthy uh, he worked at Goldman Sachs and then at a hedge fund then met his wife uh, whilst doing a Stanford MBA and she's the daughter of one of India's richest uh, billionaires he's the founder of the tech company Infosys together Together, Mr. and Mrs. Sunak are worth about $800 million. Not ideal when the country's going through a cost of uh, living crisis, uh, of course. Uh, and as I said, uh, his time in the finance ministry, though short, did see him come across as competent, pragmatic. Uh, he's uh, then echoed over the summer leadership race uh, uh, the need for fiscal conservatism, which has earned him uh, further points, given that Liz Truss did the opposite and it, it went so poorly. But uh, he's still not that well known uh, and uh, only been an MP for seven years and has to prove credibility uh, as much mm. as anything. All right, Sky News anchor and NBC News contributor Wilfred Frost, live from London. Thank you very much. And coming up...